Hello respected parents and my dear children here's wishing everyone a happy and a prosperous new year my name is miss sneha today i will be teaching subject general awareness topic reduce reuse and recycle so children are you all happy and eager to learn something new today yes so shall we see what are we learning today okay so are you all excited yes very good so shall we start okay okay so can you tell me what is this in the picture yes very good this is our planet mother earth so we live on earth yes or no children Yes previously you have learnt about different planets yes or no yes so where do we live we live on earth earth is the only planet where we have water to drink and air to breathe yes or no yes so we must protect and take care of our mother earth yes or no children yes we have to protect our earth very well yes yeah so shall we see what is happening on earth okay now because of lot of you know uh, waste what we throw because of lot of pollution what we create the earth is getting polluted day by day it is getting destroyed yes or no see earth is crying it says save me please it's what does it say save me so what are the different kinds of pollution noise pollution air pollution water pollution you know we are polluting our mother earth yes or no children yes we are throwing the waste here and there and we are polluting mother earth so mother earth is crying and she says save me what does she say save me yes now shall we see another example of pollution okay now this is a you know when we go on a beach side we are polluting the beach you know the water the animals in the water are not able to live because of the pollution created by man you know what do we do when we go on outing when we go on a beach side what do we do we drink juice and throw away juice cans there we use plastic bottles and throw away the plastic bottles there we use cans we use spoons we use um, other you know kind of plastic waste garbage the this one you know the uh, covers what we carry we just throw away there so because of this the animals in the water that is the water animals get polluted what happens they get polluted because of this mother earth is suffering you know she is been polluted she says save me do not pollute me so much yes or no yes now because of this pollution there came a need of 3 hours because of the pollution to control the pollution there came a need of 3 hours it is how can we save the earth how can we save our planet by following this 3 hours we can save our planet and it is a happy place to live if we save our planet yes or no children yes because we have to uh, you know breathe in fresh air you know we have to not throw the waste here and there by that we are uh, you know protecting our planet and not polluting our planet now what are the three r's shall we see yes three r's the first one is reduce reuse and recycle what are the three r's reduce reuse and recycle yes now first we'll move on to reduce the first r here is reduce now what do we mean by reduce reduce means to minimize the amount of waste we create now what is the what is the meaning of reduce reduce means now if you are creating a waste now something if you are throwing to limit it down to cut it down that is to minimize the amount of waste we create that is called reduce what is it to minimize the amount you know the cut down on the waste we create is called reduce now shall we see few examples for reduce okay now 
Now, what is the person doing here? What is the man doing here? He's turning off the TV. Now, this is an example which says we have to reduce the wastage of electricity. Yes or no, children? Yes. So, when a TV, computer or even a switch, you know, in a room or in a living room, when you're not using it, please turn it off, switch it off and then leave the room wherever you are. Do not waste electricity by using it more when not necessary. You have to switch off, switch off all the electric you know, gadgets when it is not required. By doing that, you are saving on electricity, you are avoiding the wastage of electricity. Yes. Now, shall we see another example to reduce the wastage? Yeah, how can we reduce the wastage? Now, here, what can you see in this picture? A boy is brushing his teeth. So, when you are brushing your teeth, once you know, um, once you are brushing, do you need the tap to be on or open? No. Yes or no? No. Why? Till you brush, do you have to waste water? No. So, you have to close the tap while brushing your teeth. Or even when you are uh, washing your hands, when you are applying soap, then you can switch it off. Only after applying soap. Uh, soap you can on the tap or open the tap uh, until then you can you know close the tap yes or no children yes so what are you saving here you're saving water which is very 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 essential for life you know it is very essential yes or no everyone needs water to drink so when water is not in use you have to reduce the wastage of water yes or no yes okay now here there's another example to see how we can reduce the wastage of water. Now when you're using, when you're washing your vehicles, a car or bicycle, whatever it may be, do not use a hose to wash your car or bicycle. Instead, use a bucket and a mug. Children, do not use lot, uh, you know, a hose that is a big pipes and waste water. You know, this is not the right way because we are wasting lot of water which is actually required. Yes or no? Yes. So you have to use the, you know, a bucket and mug, which is you, you know, water is not wasted much. Whenever required, you can use it and wash your vehicles. Now, another example for the first R that is reduce. You have to walk or cycle to go to a nearby place. When you're going to a nearby place, you need not go by car. Yes or no? You can go by walk or cycle. It is even good for health and you are not polluting the environment. Yes or no? You are not polluting the environment. So, you can take a walk or go by cycle when you are going to a nearby place. So, these are the examples for reduce. Did you all understand children? Yes. Now, we will move on to our next R that is reuse. What is the next R? That is reuse. Now, what is the need for reuse? Now, first of all, what is the meaning for re meaning of reuse? Reuse means to use the items more than once. The need for reuse is not wasting much of items. Just throwing it away. You should not just throw away the item. See if you can reuse it. Once you have used it, see if you can reuse it. So, reuse means to use the items more than once once okay now shall we see few examples under reuse yes first one the first example here is writing on both the sides of the paper yes or no children yes now example for this is today if you are taking a new paper and you have written only on one side tomorrow you can use the same paper the back side of the same paper to write instead of throwing it away yes or no children Yes, it is a, you know, instead of wasting the other side of the paper, you can use the same paper for tomorrow. That way, you are reusing the paper. You are avoiding, you know, you are reducing the wastage. Very good. Now, what are the things you can see here in the picture? You can see a steel plate. You can see steel spoons. You can see a steel cup or a mug. Yes. So, here, using these steel utensils as they can be you know uh, reused again and again helps in reduction of wastage that is 
if you use steel utensils as they can be reused now if you use steel cup steel uh, spoon steel plate they can be reused you know because in, uh, you know instead of uh, buying new ones every time it, it can be reused by this again you are avoiding wastage and children now to avoid <coughs> pollution and to create awareness in the environment about reuse you have to carry a, your own cup you you would have seen many boards outside in many you know places telling byoc that is bring your own cutlery yes or no children yes that is you have to carry your own cutlery so by that it is you are avoiding the wastage of you know when we use other the reusable you know the Uh, where we have to throw away the plates and spoons it's waste it is again a waste so you you have to carry your own cutlery by this we are reusing we are avoiding a much of wastage yes or no children yes now the other example here is when you're going for a shopping it is good if you take a cloth bag for shopping it is good if you take cloth bags now today if you are if you have taken one cloth bag for shopping the same cloth bag can be used tomorrow as well it is not going you know throwing it away yes or no children yes so always use cloth bag for shopping next use this in this example what can you see a boy is refilling a bottle so use refillable water bottles use refillable water bottles that means do not you know uh, do not waste water bottles once you buy you know you have to use the water bottle more than once twice or thrice that time you are avoiding the wastage and children it is healthier and it is good if we carry water wherever we go from our homes instead of you know using water or buying water outside so whenever you go out do not forget to carry your own water bottles did you understand children yes so the next r here is recycle okay in three among the three r's is the third r that is recycle what is recycle recycle means to put a product to new use instead of throwing it away think that today you if you have a plastic cover instead of throwing it away how can you use that plastic cover you know how what can you make out of that plastic cover tomorrow you know how can you recycle the plastic cover to make a something as to make something new out of it so if you are having something instead of throwing it away what can you do with that to make a new one okay yes now shall we see few examples for a recycle okay first you know the first um, example here is children use right bins to throw the waste what you should do use right bins to throw the waste here whenever you are throwing your waste use right bin so which bin uh, there are different bins labeled okay now here it says paper so throw only the paper ones here here plastic your plastic empty bottles your plastic jars whatever the soap boxes which are empty the soap plastic boxes you can throw it here next say glass so glass when your glass items have been broken throw it in this bin which says glass next is organic organic meaning your food or vegetables you know which you want to throw you can throw it in this bin always see to it you throw the waste or the trash into right bins because these can be recycled and formed into a new product yes or no yes very good now can you see what can you see here a cover a plastic bottle and a carton box yes or no yes so plastic bottles old bags or covers and cartons can be used to make new craft items yes or no now these are the waste or the trash where you can throw away but then if you throw away it's just a waste it's just a pollution so what can you do these products can be recycled what can you do these products can be recycled plastic bottles the old bags and cartons can be recycled and made something new 
Now here is a recycled box, carton box. Yes or no children? See, when you throw away the right things in the right bins, we can get a recycled product. So this is a recycled cardboard box. Nice, no? Very nice. When we use, you know, in a right way, we get a nice product out of it. Yes or no? Yes, wastage also is avoided and, you know, the recycling also is done. So, I hope, children, you have understood the concept. Now, in this picture, you can see the summary of all the three with their examples. That is, reduce, reuse and recycle. Okay? Now, moving on to the next one. From your general awareness workbook on page 114, topic of recycle, reduce and reuse with examples is being given. Please read it so that you can understand it well. Okay, on page number 114 from your general awareness workbook. Same way on page number 115, few more examples for recycle, reuse and uh, reduce is being given. Go read all the, you know, examples so that you can understand it much more better. Okay. Now, here is an activity for you children. So, dear parent, please assist your child to paste two pictures each under the topic reduce reuse and recycle in the general awareness notebook children with the help of examples which you have seen in this video please paste two pictures each under the topic reduce reuse and recycle in the general awareness notebook parents please guide your child in the following activity Okay, children, I hope you all have enjoyed and learned something new today. The topic was very interesting. Yes or no? Yes. So, shall we meet in the next class? Okay, children, thank you. Bye-bye.